Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so the first card is the confession card. So it looks like somebody, uh, you know, maybe it's your partner or somebody that you're in a relationship with or even, uh, you know, uh, in an indirect sort of way, you're going to be hearing uh, some secrets, so some kind of confession coming out of there, some kind of secret being revealed. So you might even get this news or what get these secrets from a friend uh, telling you about this particular situation, um, if it's in a relationship you are, but some kind of truth is coming to light over here. So a truth being revealed and it looks like somebody is either going to come clean with you and tell you whatever is going on, reveal a secret to you, or some friend uh, is going to come and tell you uh, about what is going on. So either way, there is some kind of big information coming to you, some kind of big secret being revealed over there. Now, you've got the Athene card over here, and this is about, uh, you know, taking uh, a stand for what you believe in, taking matters into your hand, making sure you're defending yourself as well, looking out for yourself as well. So, um, this is about, uh, you know, you are pretty busy at the moment, being very, very busy at the moment with, because of, you know, multitasking as well. But also, uh, this is about, uh, you know, um, getting yourself protected. Uh, you know, fighting for whatever is yours and making sure that, um, you know, you're protecting yourself uh, and you're protecting your own needs there. So, uh, you know, if this particular truth uh, means that you have to go on the defensive, then that is what you have to do. You have to stand up and defend yourself uh, in this particular situation. So you've got the uh, responsibility card over here, um, and it looks like, you know, um, whatever is uh, going to be revealed, uh, you know, the person who um, who has the secret may need to take responsibility for uh, their actions. Um, so whatever they have uh, done, uh, you know, it looks like they have to stand up and, um, you know, um, explain why they have done it. So, uh, you know, whatever fruit they've put out there, whatever they have put, whatever the um, outcome of their actions were, they may need to be taking responsibility for it. And that's the kind of situation you're going to be de dealing with. So maybe this person is con confessing to you uh, and maybe they are taking responsibility for all their actions, uh, you know, and uh, coming clean with you. So maybe this is why this confession is coming out because they realize, you know, they need to reveal things to you. Um, maybe, uh, you know, tell you exactly exactly what is going on. So it seems like they are, uh, you know, taking um, control, they're taking responsibility for whatever they have done and they are going to be revealing to you uh, what has been hidden. So in the past you've got that sword card over here and this is about maybe you have had some kind of legal situation uh, that you were dealing with. Uh, this could also be that, you know, you've been uh, dealing with somebody who has been very uh, vengeful somebody who's been trying to take revenge. On the other hand, you may have been, uh, you know, somebody may have done something to you and you have been very upset about it and maybe you have wanted some kind of revenge out of it. You wanted them to get what is, you know, due to them. You wanted karmic justice. But also, uh, you know, it may be somebody has been taking it out on you. Maybe they feel that you have done something to them and they've been very, uh, you know, they've been taking their revenge out on you as well. They've suddenly been talking a lot about things because you've got two snakes over here and these are, uh, you know, saying very tough toxic, nasty things about uh, you. And this has had your hands tied. So, you know, maybe they've been uh, doing something that, uh, you know, um, affects your reputation uh, or putting you, making others see you in a very, very bad light over there. Um, you've got the scepter card over here. So you are trying to make a decision or you're trying to plan, make plans for the future here um, with that scepter card. You're trying to take control back of whatever's been going on. So maybe they've, whatever they've done, uh, you know, has um, affected you uh, and you are trying to get control back of that situation, a situation where you felt uh, like you may have been disempowered, lost control of that situation. Maybe whatever they said has been very, very uh, detrimental to your reputation and to you and you're now trying to get back that power again. So that's been going on in the past few months. So whatever lies has been spoken, you know, with this, these two snakes around the sword, it looks like it's now about to come to light uh, very soon. And maybe this is going to have you up in arms. Maybe it's going to start some kind of quarrel, some kind of fight. Because Athene is the warrior. Uh, but it's all a verbal uh, fight, really. So maybe some argument cropping up because of whatever secret is being revealed to you. So going into the future, you've got the visitor card over here. So, you know, there, it looks like there might be some 
somebody from the past unexpectedly appearing over there. You've got the visitor card over here. So you might be bumping into an old friend, some old acquaintance uh, coming back into your life again. Uh, maybe somebody there to give you some support. You might even get a, a phone call or some kind of message coming from somebody you, you used to know. Um, it looks like, you know, sorting through this problem, there might be, uh, you might need to um, reach a compromise uh, within the situation so that things don't escalate. Uh, so you've got that waning fire. So it looks like, you know, um, you might get some advice from this person that you run into, this old friend, and maybe you've, you'd make a decision that, you know, it's not worth fighting over or whatever the secret is that comes to light may not be worth all the drama and you decide that, you know, compromise uh, is in order. Um, you know, it's better to compromise, uh, you know, not fight about the whole thing and just settle the dispute amicably. So it looks like, you know, um, it, there is that element of compromise coming in, maybe just ignoring it and moving on, uh, you know, deciding, making a decision about what is important uh, and what is not. So prioritizing, making it, um, if you decide that this relationship, uh, you know, you want to keep it, um, maybe, you know, this is why compromise might be necessary there. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm going to be drawing some cards from the symbol on tarot. And that's the main read. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the magician and this little man in a jar there. So it looks like you're feeling very, very trapped within this particular relationship. This person you're dealing with is uh, very manipulative. They've been lying uh, and very controlling of this particular situation. And you can see, you know, whatever drama it is, maybe they're causing the drama and you're having to st sit there and take it. So you are feeling very, very trapped. Um, you've got Moon there in Scorpio, and this is, you know, about very spiteful, manipulative behavior as well. But this person is very smart, very clever, very manipulative, and they are very controlling of this particular situation. Um, and, you know, they are very egotistical as well, so you're dealing with that kind of energy. Uh, and they are very much in control about what is going on. So, um, you know, a very, very uh, deceptive kind of energy. They have their own hidden agendas, so be aware of that. Now, what's happening with you? So, you know, it seems like uh, whatever they've said or whatever's happened, there's almost a fall from grace for you. So it seems like, you know, they've said things so that, you know, they have uh, brought your reputation all the way down. And they maybe made you look like a little bit of a fool there as well. Uh, and it looks like, you know, you have lost control or power over the situation because of their actions. So there's something that they did was that was very vindictive. They might have put out uh, messages or sent messages to people, uh, you know, making you, um, um, you know, bring your reputation down, uh, besmitching your reputation, uh, uh, if I can say that. Uh, so it looks like, you know, whatever they've said has been really nasty. Uh, and it's been, um, you know, they've been doing it behind your back or doing it to people. And, you know, people now see you in, uh, in, in a very poor light because of the things that they've done. Um, you know, so, you know, they've actually toppled you down uh, or taken your power away from you, really. Now, you've got uh, this priest or the, um, um, it looks like uh, this is a, a high priest, you know, and he's got that book over there. So you are, this is almost like the hermit card, rather. So it looks like you're spending a lot of time by yourself. Now, the Hermit card is ruled by Virgo, usually. And it looks like you're focusing a lot more on your work. You've got um, Saturn there in Capricorn over there. So you are, um, you know, maybe whatever this reputation, uh, this, uh, you know, where they've affected your reputation, even on the work front there. But you are spending a lot of time on your, by yourself, and you are spending a lot of time working as well. You might be quite busy at the moment, working to a lot of deadlines over there. Um, but, you know, it seems like whatever they're doing is affecting that work life as well. So, the, you know, you might be working with this particular person that you're uh, with and they might be, um, you know, you might have broken up with them and they might be going around, uh, you know, saying things about you uh, that is causing, that is affecting the way other people see you. So that could well be the case. 
On the other hand, you know, because of what they've done, you're spending a lot more time by yourself, focusing on your work, focusing on your study, uh, and not really giving, trying to get over them by, uh, you know, changing your focus. So in the past, you've got that card of nurturing. So you have been, uh, you know, caring for somebody. You have, may have children, and you might be looking after them and spending a lot more time with those children, or you know, uh, doing uh, a lot more caring. There's some kind of uh, something that you're looking after. So it could be in the form of children, or animals, or even people that you're looking after. But whatever you're doing is you're very focused on that particular task. You've been doing that, you know, in the past year, uh, and you know, you've been doing a lot of uh, study and learning as well. Coming up recently. So this is about you know almost being an apprentice. Uh, so you might be focused on study and learning, and this might be involving your work. You can see this person sitting there with that uh, book. This hermit is sitting with the book over there, and this person is the apprentice. So you might have changed your focus. You might be concentrating more on your career, and you might be doing some training or learning at this particular moment, um, and focusing on that. So what's on your mind? Your mind has got work on it. So you're thinking about just you know getting on with your job. Maybe you're not, you've given uh, you know this relationship you've um, you know ousted it, sent it off on its way, and you want to focus on that work. Uh, you want to make yourself your career matter. Um, this is about even learning. This is gaining wisdom, gaining new skills. So it looks like uh, you know you have been focused a lot more on work. You've got Saturn there in Capricorn. You're you know you're very ambitious. You want to get uh, things done, and you are spending a lot of time by yourself in isolation over there. You can see there's a lot of ice and snow around, so very, 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 very isolated, uh, spending a, a lot of time by yourself. Now, Virgo does like to spend time by themselves. Uh, you know, that's where you are most comfortable. Uh, but it looks like, you know, you're spending a lot of time learning as well and studying. So going into the future, it looks like you're going to leave the situation behind. This person's flying off, and you might actually be getting a new job and flying overseas or going, moving on, uh, you know, overseas. Uh, to get a new job, but you're definitely leaving this relationship behind. You may have had started a family together, you may have bought property together, but it looks like you're on your journey. You can see this pathway is completely open here, so your path is open for you to do what you like, and it looks like you're going to, to leave this. This might be a change of home, um, and she's flying off, uh, leaving the, the old behind and moving on to something different. So it looks like you're going to be leaving this relationship and moving on to something else, getting a job maybe, and moving on to go and work somewhere else. You've got this card of, uh, you know, being defiant. So whatever you're doing, uh, you know, you've had enough of this person. You've had enough of what they've said. They might have been, uh, you know, where you've thrown a little bit of a tantrum over there. You've turned your back and left. So you might be behaving a little childishly right now, but I think it's all uh, acceptable after what this person has done for you, or they've been very controlling. And you can see you, you've even got that nursemaid um, there. Uh, so you know maybe you feel this person has been too restrictive, they've been too controlling, you've had more than enough, um, you've thrown your little tantrum, and you are now running off on your own path. So it looks like you've left this person behind, and it looks like you're going to fly away completely from them. So you're saying goodbye, making uh, that final change or final decision, and you're moving on. So you are still sitting over there making that decision. You might be thinking a lot about the past uh, with this particular card. There might be something that you're not seeing because this woman's got her eyes closed. Uh, but it looks like you are at the point where you're at the crossroads in your life and you want to get out of the dark and into the light. It looks like you know, you're out of the want to leave that depression behind. Uh, this is about home moves as well. You've got the moon in Cancer there, so changing home, and you've got Jupiter in Sagittarius, so this is about uh, relocating. And this might be a foreign relocation, so you might be uh, emigrating somewhere else. Uh, so, you know, it could be um, that you want to completely change countries, move overseas, and travel, uh, and, uh, you know, start afresh somewhere else. So, uh, it looks like, you know, your focus is about abundance and uh, work. You want to focus on that work. You've got two Earth signs on this card. So you've got uh, Venus in Taurus. You're trying to increase your material wealth. And Saturn in uh, Capricorn, this is about ambition, focus, discipline. So that looks like where you're heading at this particular moment. You're trying to work. You're working pretty hard. You can see this man's, this uh, ground has been, um, you know, they've uh, been planting here so it looks like you are 
you are setting down foundations, you are working on your career, and this is how uh, you want abundance to come in. So you're ambitious, you want to get ahead in life, and it looks like you, know, you, you don't want to spend any more time focused on this relationship anymore. You're leaving it behind and moving away. And all the, the other cards are showing that you, know, you do want to spend your time and focus on work as well. Here with this particular card, you can see she's making a thread there. And even here, this is about focusing on learning and studying and bettering yourself uh, because, you know, you feel like this person has let you down. They have said things about you that have been really nasty and uh, they've destroyed your reputation in some sort of way, disempowered you. And so you want to get back on track again. So you're doing a lot of self-reflection over here and this is about focusing on your material wealth. You've got Venus here in Taurus and this is about attaining security, wealth, um, and working for yourself, really, your own personal finances. And it looks like a lot of abundance is coming in. There's some kind of message coming in. This might be a message for a new job that will pay you pretty well, uh, but you're also doing a lot of self-reflection, uh, but also self-appreciation. So you're appreciating who you are becoming at this particular moment. And there you are in that decision mode where you are in two minds about what to do. So you're thinking very carefully about how you want to change things around and move forward. And, um, you know, you're giving it a good deal of thought over here. Uh, you're weighing the pros and cons there with that particular uh, card. And the final card is, uh, you know, you have to be careful of this particular person. They might come to you maybe for an apology, uh, but it might be false because this is the card of the actor and this is about putting on an act. Uh, you know, so may, they might be, uh, you know, coming to you for making a, making an apology to you, but it might all be an act, and they might have a, a completely different agenda over there. So just be careful of that. This could also be you trying to pretend that everything is fine and dandy, and you know, not showing the world exactly what you are. So maybe you're hiding behind your mask and not allowing the world to see what you're going through as well. This is okay because, you know, this is a way that you defend yourself, uh, you know, when you've been hurt. And, uh, you know, it allows you to heal without people interfering in your life. Uh, but, you know, if you're dealing with somebody, that, if you're still dealing with this particular person, they do have that hidden agenda there. You know, maybe they, they're pretending to be something they're not. And it's up to you to see through that, uh, that mask, see through the act really um, so you are trying to make that decision to move on and you know you are going to be focusing more on yourself than anybody else so it looks like you're giving this relationship um, a thumbs down or you're leaving it behind and you're moving on you certainly have had some kind of encounter with this person and it seems like they did try to bully you but you're not taking any of that you're moving on so i'm just going to draw some cards from the archangel power tarot and this is for the oracle read. So the first card is the Seven of Michael, which says there's a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all the details. Now you can see there's a lot of loneliness cards over there, sitting over there and learning by yourself. And also here, uh, working by yourself. So, you know, it's time for you to get out there, uh, you know, make some friends, socialize. Don't take, you know, there's a choice there. So you can either take the, the path with a lot of light or you can go down that path of darkness and depression. So there you are at a point where you have to make a decision and, you know, you need to get out there and socialize. So stop sitting alone in the dark over there. Take the that path full of light, meet some friends, get out there and, uh, you know, um, at least get happiness back in your life. This is very important. You've got the three of Ariel over there, so companions coming in for you, for you here. So do what you love, a time for great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors, working with others in a cooperative manner. So it looks like, you know, uh, taking that path of uh, where you go out there and meet a lot of people with the Seven of Michael and a lot of friends coming in for you there. And this is going to be, you know, maybe you're going to be working with a lot of people on the job front as well and you will befriend these people. And this is, you know, um, a time where you will be focusing a lot more on your career. You can see that mostly, in, you know, in most of the cards over here, that there's a lot of work oriented here a lot of focus on your work and your career and your personal growth um, and this is going to bring in your happiness and that healing for you and the final card is the epiphany card so joy through spiritual growth 
uh, be a light to others, answers that come through meditation. So, you know, things are going to be revealed to you. You do need to take that time out because you need some personal space uh, so that you can heal from it. And a lot of enlightenment coming from that. So there are aha moment coming in for you there. And this is going to lead through a lot of growth. And maybe this is when you make that decision and that you want to completely leave this person or even change, you know, relocate, move, o move on, fly overseas, go and do something completely different. So you are at a point where you're at a crossroads, making, trying to make a choice uh, about what to do. You are weighing pros, pros and cons over here, but it looks like you're going to make that decision for your freedom and move on. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.